one. All right, what's up, guys? Caleb here, and I am here with Jaxish. Yes, that is me. A lot of people get the name wrong. <laughs> yeah, so he is a Lego YouTuber, and he is here for Two Studs Too Far, episode five. Every weekend, I've been having an episode of this where I've had on different guests and asked some questions about stuff. So for the fifth week, I decided to have on no other than Jaxish. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Um, I've not done a lot of collaborations with Lego YouTubers. I want to do more. Um, yeah. This is like my second. I collaborated with the Lego Brit and hmm. uh, Red Brick Productions and okay. Nick the Lego Brownie Hunter uh, all together in one stream. I want to do more streams, but yeah. Yeah. So that's about it. Cool. Yeah. Also, congratulations on, I don't know how long ago you hit 500 subscribers? How long ago was that? Um, I think about a month ago, yeah. 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 You have any other like future milestones on subscriber goals? Yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of videos in production right now. Like I know I'm I'm kind of slacking on them, but <laughs> I'm gonna like release a lot in the next coming two weeks. Cause nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I will say I'm a pretty big fan of your channel. Your your like edits are always spot on. Like you're thank very you, good thank you. Yeah, I spend a lot of time. Pretty on funny. That. So I'm definitely a pretty big fan of your channel. You do really good editing and stuff. Thank you. Thank you uh let's see yeah what are your thoughts have you heard the rumors for these star wars minifig packs that are coming out yeah i have with the commander cody and uh, the hmm. two 12 troopers right i don't know <laughs> i think so <laughs> yeah yeah i've seen i, I mean mnr has posted a lot um on hmm. his channel about them i they're kind of fake in my opinion i they're probably not going to turn out real because lego just never does that type of thing yeah. what do you think about it what do you think? Uh, I I don't don't really think it's gonna happen. I they have other ones for like Batman stuff, right? I'm pretty sure they have like other little mini fig packs. Yeah, like, they did it for like a Knights line and like police, yeah. like a police. Like I think that. like battle packs will come back, except I just don't think we'll see you know like mini fig packs like that. Like it just seems a little bit strange to me. Yeah, now. I believe battle packs will come back. Yeah. Potentially in yeah. Well, I I believe there's a leak. Uh, or a rumor coming in 2022 that uh, battle packs will return with i can't remember what it was but I think it's like a dark trooper um right? i do know that yeah oh yeah dark trooper battle well not i i, I think it's like one of those 30 dollar sets like the 501st yeah um set uh i it's kind of disappointing that it does have luke skywalker is at <laughs> if it is a real set because that'll just really suck. Because, yeah. you know, I do not want an army of Luke Skywalkers. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think yeah. we get... Uh, how do you feel about that anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite minifigure yeah. on? My favorite minifigure on... Okay. Um, my... I love... I've, like... I have two Captain Rexes. I got one in... Uh, a Facebook Marketplace haul for really cheap. Um, yeah, I love Captain uh, Phase One Captain Rex. That is, I wish I had Phase Two Captain Rex, but yeah, I got. Uh, yeah, my favorite is definitely Phase One Captain Rex because he's just an awesome minifigure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a would so you rather question. You? First, would you rather question. So, would you rather have a cameo in a Star Wars movie or a minifig of you in a Lego set? A story? What, what What was the question? Uh, I asked, would you rather have a cameo in a Star Wars movie, like get featured in a Star Wars movie, or have your oh, own yeah, movie? Oh, okay. That... Um, I would definitely rather a cameo in a Star Wars movie. I think that would just be so cool. Like, to, yeah. I don't know, I'd like to be maybe a, like a uh, Jedi. That'd be mm -hmm. pretty cool. Um, yeah. Also, having a figure as myself and a set would be pretty cool. But yeah, I think uh, having a cameo would be much cooler. Honestly. Yeah, it'd also be cool to have yeah. it as a set. I don't know. It's a pretty hard question for me to answer. <laughs> have yeah. you seen? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Do you have any of the uh, summer Star Wars like sets? Have you bought any of them? Like, I haven't bought any of them so far. But have you bought any oh, of like the new stuff? I have. I've got the Moff Gideon Cruiser for, uh, yeah, I picked it up for $200 in Canada. It is so expensive. I'm in Canada, yeah. You're in the U.S., right? Yeah. You're in the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it was super expensive, but I'm super happy. And I also got the Marauder, and I want to get uh, the Mandalorian fighter. I know uh, the figures are really amazing in that one, so I'm going to pick that one up. Probably on sale, though. So, yeah. yeah. I was wondering, like, so, are the prices in Canada, do, like... Do you have any? Um, no, I haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> I was... Okay. I was wondering, like, are, are the, the prices... prices are the prices in Canada, like, more or less expensive than in the U.S.? Like, is it usually, like, more expensive, or is it usually, like, on the... Uh, the um, they're definitely, uh, they tend to be much, well, not much more expensive, but they definitely are more expensive. If you convert it, I believe they're a little bit more than what they should be, uh, converted U.S. to Canada uh, dollars. So that is unfortunate, like it's kind of ripping us off in Canada. Uh, that's mm. why I like to get things on like a Facebook marketplace haul um, or get it on sale. Yeah. yeah. What is your favorite it's, set that yeah. you own? My favorite set that I own, um, I love the gunship. I have a gun, my, uh, yeah, I have a, the gunship, the 2000 and Eight model I believe yeah 2008 I love that set so much it included a commander Cody and uh yeah I love commander Cody too that's why again I love that set so much yeah it's a pretty cool scoring then so yeah what did what did you think of Star Wars Visions what did I think of Star Wars Visions um I've only seen two episodes and I might be in the minority uh, of people that do not like Star Wars Visions. I don't like it. I know, I don't like that it's not canon because like anything that is in it just doesn't matter to the storyline, which I don't really like. Um, yeah. yeah, I the art style is amazing, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I just, I don't like the storyline and I don't like that it doesn't fit in with the canon of Star Wars. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a video out on it soon. I personally like, that was really, really good. But do you think it, we could get like any sets from it in the future? Um. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I think Lego would probably make if they were to make uh, sets from it. They'd probably make like two or three, or maybe even just one like show off set. J mm. they, it's probably not going to happen because they probably want to focus um, more on the original trilogy. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> um, they're probably going to make one or two sets uh yeah i think probably yeah i i hope we get sets i thought it yeah. was pretty interesting for sure what inspired you to start your youtube channel so what inspired me so um because i've i have two older brothers uh they got like so much like lego in the past and of course mm. i got a lot too so i just had a lot of unused lego being just sitting around and i saw like mnr's I, I, I mean, MNR was a big inspiration to me for starting my channel. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I have all this Lego here. Um, maybe I can like show it off and not to be like, not to like be yeah. like, show off, but yeah, maybe I could like uh, show it to other people and uh, I think it'd be fun. So I tried it on February 28th. I know the date. And uh, yeah, I so really paid it off. Oh, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So. Also, do you think you'll watch the No Time to Die movie, so the newest James Bond movie coming out? I'm, um, I'm yeah, a really big James I'm, Bond fan, but... I I love James, James Bond. Um, yep. Yeah, I actually have it scheduled, like, a, I don't have it scheduled, but we are going to book movie tickets around Friday this yeah. week. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch that. Nice. Uh, apparently, it's a okay movie. Not a lot of people say it's that yeah. good, but... I'm I'm pretty sure it already came out like in Britain early. I'm I'm pretty sure it did, but it's coming out in the US in October 8th, I believe. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch it soon. Around yeah. Yeah. yeah do you I'm think we get gonna... any uh sets for it? I've made a bunch of videos saying I want sets from them, but do you think we get sets? Um I believe just the one uh James Bond car that was released is mm. the only set we'll ever get from Lego. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, it's not really family friendly friendly either. And would probably ruin, well, not ruin, but it doesn't really go with Lego's slogan of, yeah. like, no war, and not slogan, mm. but, yeah, 
no yeah. guns. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would love if they did, but they're probably not going to. And the last question I have for you, and I am asking this to everybody that comes on my podcast. What's your favorite food? You there? What's, sorry? What's your favorite food? <laughs> am I frozen? Uh, oh, my favorite food. Okay. Yes. My favorite food is certainly, I love tacos. Tacos nice. is the best food ever, honestly. Or yeah. I also love steak. I'd say tacos, though, because you just can't go wrong with tacos. Chicken tacos, amazing. Yeah. Just so good. Yeah, you're definitely right. <laughs> tacos yeah. are delicious. Wait, so... Yeah. Um, how, how... Wait, when, when did you start um, collecting Lego? Uh, well, I've had, I've had, like, Legos for all my life. I've had a bunch of, like, boxes of Lego that I would just, like, build stuff with, and then... For a long time, mm. when I was little, I would just buy sets and build them and eventually just break them for parts to, you know, build little mocks and stuff. So I never really started keeping yeah. my sets until two and a half years ago or so. And then I decided, like, well, I have enough, you know, Legos in my bins. Why don't I just keep these sets? And that's sort of how it started to, you know, build more of my collection that, you know, I would display and stuff. But I've I've been into Legos ever since yeah. I was, like, really, really little. So Yeah, same same like ever since I was like three I like five honestly I've just just constantly been getting Lego from yeah. you know the store I I've yeah interacted with Lego almost all my life <laughs> yeah so yeah all right well thank you for coming on yeah. Jackson. it's been fun Do you have anything you have to say to the uh viewers out there it's been super fun yeah do you have any catchphrases you say when the video is like ending? Okay, uh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, well, Seabird Productions, <laughs> signing off for now. Make sure to like and subscribe and drop a subscription on Jack Sish's, Jack Sish's? Yep. Jack Sish's channel. His link will be in the description. Jack Sish's. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we'll subscribe. see you guys later. Okay. Peace.